Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's see if we can get rid of that glare. Not really, never mind, you've got a bit of glare. Welcome back to my channel and uh, this is my next, well, I say this is my next, this was actually the next kit to build. Um, part of the way through, just sticking all the resistors on. Problem is I've come to one resistor where that says 82K and the actual resistor is an 8K2. And so I'm just waiting to hear back whether this is a screen issue or whether it's the resistor issue because I don't want to have to try and, you know, fix it if it's the, uh, the wrong resistor. So, but this came through the post today. So we're going to take a quick little peek at this. First of all, we'll take a peek at this box because it's all part of it. And um, get this box open. I did, um, in actual fact, I just put a couple of pictures up here because I opened up the box and but I made a right pig's ear out of it trying to get into it so this one in here we got the we have the transformer nice cables and copper screened and it's so you can see that big big iron core going through the middle and then just um, the transformer windings on one side and the windings on the other side on the outside we've got uh, so we got uh, 240 volts so we got two lots of 100, uh, 115 so it's going to be 230 volts so we've put them in serial and then on the outside we've got 0 to 220 coming out at 68 milliamp and a 0 to 14 volts at 1 amp. So the 0 to 14 volts are going to be for the uh, the heaters and the rest of it's going to be for the for the plates and such on the amplifier itself. Well, the pre-amplifier itself I should say because this is another pre-amplifier project. And I'm just going to put that there. Unwrap. Take that off there. Very nice. And here is our board. Lovely. Wrapped up in cellophane. Let's see what we got here. I can tell you now. It's uh, it's a tube preamp. This one uses a couple of uh, twelve X. AT7s and a couple of 12X A, uh, AX7s. Very nice. It does look. It does look very nice. It feels very nice. This one has also got some mounting points, which is nice. Uh, the other one that I just showed you a few moments ago, that doesn't have mounting points. Well, there's two, but they're in odd places. At least these are on the, around the outside. So I'm gonna, so the board would go like this. And here's the 1287 places, and here's the 12AX7 places there. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. At least I hope it is anyway. I hope it is left out and right out here. Our input here. This is another volume control and there's no tone controls on here. So I'll use a, uh, a pot to adjust the volume on the input. Or the it's going to be getting on there. Or well, I'll just use the up and down volume. That's probably going to be better. Oh, nice sealy bag. So we can see already. Some heat sinks for the board. There should be three of those. There are one, two, three. And we got these. It's this nice big niche con there. 330 microfarads, 500 volts. 
It's a nice big cap that is. Ooh, I do like big caps, me. And we've got these ones as well, these are uh, audio filer. MKP side cap, 400 volts. Uh, DC. Four of those. And we've got some more caps here. V shay Oh no, so no, they are the V shay yeah. Uh, so they're not um, they're not skimping it, they're not putting uh, you know the cheapest ones they can find on there, they're V shay they're not cheap. And they're not cheap. Ooh. Yeah. Get rid of that. What we got here? So it is nice to see that uh, they do want Samsung. They do want to, um, you know, obviously they, they know people can be building these and maybe doing reviews and such. And so there's no point just sending out a load of rubbish. That's another Samsung. What have we got here? Nichicon. Nichicon uh, Nikon. So all these are the same, Nichicon Nikon. That's nice as well. Because they're not a rubbish cap. That's not, uh, that's actually ceramic, that is, you can tell. It's not, uh, I've got some cheap plastic ones which don't feel anywhere near as substantial as what that does. Ooh, some nice resistors, look at those. Ooh. Uh, oh, that's my cat. <laughs> Frying on by firmly. I think they're 120. Uh, the brown on the end means it's a 1%. Could be 120k, we'll have to look at that. Uh, so we got our bridge rectifier there. So quite a beefy one. Can't tell just by looking at it what uh, what current it is, but you know, it's pretty proud. It's probably gonna be a, a it's quite a chunky one, so it's got a couple of them. What's these caps? These caps here, Elna, Elna, I believe they're, oh, they're either American or German. I can't remember which ones they are, where they're from. But they're not cheap, they're not rubbish caps. I don't know what this is. I can't tell by looking at it, but I've got a funny feeling that they've spent some money on the other things. These are not going to be the, the cheapest and most rubbish. Uh, what we got here, this is a an L, LT 1085 linear, it says on there. I presume this, well that's a different one altogether, that's a KZ, uh, K2700. Looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> Just looks a bit... If you look at the legs on that, it just looks a little bit, you know. But, hey-ho. And I presume this is going to be the complementary to this one here. Oh, it's 1074, so it's exactly the same thing. Got a little relay. Ooh. And another one of those uh, K2700s. I'll have to look them up. So this is a 2K pot. But I do happen to have some bonds. 2k so I'll stick a Bourne's one on in its place just because I've got them I'm going to do that not because it's because uh, you know I'm hoping this thing is pretty good and we've got a BC 550 small signal transistors I presume this is going to be its complementary no oh, it's exactly the same BC 550 so there's two channels so I'll keep I think I'm looking for a push pull type thing going on. And uh, yeah, another one of these. Uh, I'm not sure what the make is of them. Look like Panasonic. Could be Panasonic. I don't suppose they're going to be any old junk. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, without going through and counting all the components and matching them all up, I mean, I'm going to take a guess they're all going to be here. It's been a while since I've had. Uh, what? saying that I can only see three of these. Oh, that's because they're two together. We need four. 
so yeah that's it that's this is gonna this is the the one that i'm hoping um, i can just build up and we get it going yeah the 120 k's was those one two that's what the uh 120 k got a little little insulators for the screws and the um and the, and the transistors or the mosfets i think these are definitely mosfets all right so that's it yeah that's the next project so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to start building it up and uh, i'll come back to you